Hi, it's Brittany Droz, and I want to talk with you today about self-care. So self-care is one of those issues that we often neglect. We don't want to talk about it. We say, yeah, 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 we'll do it when we get a chance. Um, maybe our mom brings it up to us, maybe our spouse, maybe even our kids who seem to be the ones who are having all the fun, and uh, we may not be. So I feel like the hardest part of caring about yourself is making the time for self-care. It isn't easy because we have all these obligations, all these roles that we have to fulfill, right? And it's easier to put ourselves last than it is our family, our job, our friends. So if you're that yes person, you're saying yes to everyone else, but often not saying yes to yourself when you really might need it. I often use this analogy as an emotional bank account, and you have a limited amount of funds, right? And if we're giving, 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 the balance of our account keeps dwindling further and further down, right? We give to our job, we give to our kids, we give to our partners, we give to the community. Um, but in order to replenish the bank account for more giving, you have to give back to yourself at some point, right? We have to put money back into the account. How do we do that? Well, it, it could be any activity that you feel is restorative, uh, renews your energy, calms your mind, kind of resets your thinking for the week. Um, it could be taking a bath. It could be reading a book. It could be making time for exercise. If you enjoy cooking, then it's making time for cooking or going to the grocery store. Um, this activity should not be rushed, and it should be very enjoyable for you. So one thing that I have to help with this is this self-care catalog. Okay, if you're one of my clients already, just ask me about it. I'd be happy to get it to you. Um, but there's some very um, important sections on here beyond just the typical self-care um, that I think is important to know. So first box asks for your intention. What's your intention for this day as it lists the seven days of the week? So I gave some examples here. Loving kindness. If you do everything that day with the intention to bring some kind of loving or kind energy into your interaction, your day is probably going to be giving back to you as well. And those, that's money into your emotional bank account. That counts as some self-care. It could be um, abundance as your intention instead of looking at what's lacking in your life, what you have too little of. If you're looking at it with abundance, and seeing how much you actually do have in your life now, things can become a little less stressful. You can become a little less needy or feeling like you don't have enough. That in itself can be a stress relief, which can be a form of self-care. After you set your intention, try to set an activity that matches that intention in some way. Okay? So if your intention is abundance, let's say, maybe you spend an afternoon cooking to really remind yourself how much you do have or spend some time with family or friends. Um, when you pick your activity, the next in the box is scheduling. This is super important because this is where we get lost. Yes, we may know what we want to do, we may know, you know what we have in mind, but until we make it real, until we put it in that appointment book where all of our other real appointments are, then we're likely going to pass over it, forget about it, reschedule, cancel, all those things that you would never do to anyone else, but you sure do to yourself. Change that. Make an alarm. Make it permanent. Give yourself a reminder so that you're prepared for when that time comes. And the last column here is results. This is super important. Track how you feel after you participate in this self-care exercise. What came after it? Were you able to come home and feel more connected with your family? Did you feel better about yourself? Were you feeling more confident? These are the kind of things that are going to reinforce you doing it again. So remember what that felt like for you because that will be likely the motivation to stick to it again. So I can't stress enough how important self-care is. Um, no matter which field you're in, no matter how many kids you have or don't have, we all need to take care of ourselves because you know, without this um, thing we need to keep going, uh, it's going to make it really hard to be happy through the things we have to do, through all the obligations we have. But this can be your thing to look forward to. This can be the way you give back to you. Okay? Good luck.